Yo. Welcome to another Synfig tutorial. So for this one, we'll be looking at the duplicate layer. So the duplicate layer basically allows you to duplicate objects a number of time. Now I know that you can do that using Control, um, Control C and then Control V, but this is different. So with that in mind, let's get started. I'm going to be using the star tool for this demonstration. Uh, so let me just go ahead and draw my star just so we can have a, an object on the scene. So this is the object that we'll be duplicating. So the first thing I want to do after I have created my object is to right click in the layers panel, go to new layer, click on other. And the first option at the top right here, it says duplicate. We want to select that one. So click on duplicate and we have our duplicate layer. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and group these, put the both of these into a group uh, because I don't want du the duplicate to affect <clears throat> the background <clears throat> because I have a background layer. I don't want the duplicate to affect the background. So I'm just going to isolate it within a folder. All right, and then we can open that folder just so we can see that both our layers are within the group. If you don't have a background layer and you only have the duplicate and the star, then it's fine. You don't need to put it in a group, but um, I'm working with a background layer. So I just decided to put them in a group to isolate them. All right. So uh, select the duplicate layer. And if you take a look over here in the properties panel, right, we see we have a bunch of parameters here. But the one that we are focusing on is this one right here that says index duplicate and if you look next to it you can see that there's an option to to get more options so if we should click on that we can see that there are three parameters here and these parameters basically tell us how many times an object um, can be duplicated or is to be duplicated all right so where it says two i'm just going to go ahead and type maybe a value of eight so this is telling me how many times uh this object is to be duplicated right so we want to duplicate it by eight or duplicate it eight times after i have entered my value here i want to come over into my layers panel and add a transform layer so this typically won't well it won't work unless you have a transform layer right so whether that be the translate layer or the rotate layer right you need to have one of those <clears throat> so uh, I'm just going to right click and go to new layer, transform and click on translate. Okay. And with the translate layer selected, we can see that it only has one property and that is to change its origin. So what we want to do is right click this and click on convert and convert it to a scale. And with this now converted, we can open up its options here. So if I click on this, we can see that we have a link and a scale. All right, so let me pause here, right? And come over into my library right here. So once you add your duplicate layer, and you, if you look in your library, you will see under the value base nodes, right? You have an option here. So if I click on this, we see that um, there is already, the duplicate is already added to the, um, the library here. Okay, and that automatically, automatically happens once you create the duplicate layer right i didn't mention that before but i'm mentioning it now okay so let me go back to my translate layer well while you're on the duplicate layer make sure that this is selected right make sure that this is selected and go to the translate layer go back into your um your options for your origin by clicking on this drop down here and what we want to do is right click on the scalar and click on connect while the duplicate option is selected. So what we've done is essentially connected the translate layer to the duplicate layer. So with my translate layer selected now, if I should click on its origin point here and left click and drag and pull, we can see that the number of stars that I originally entered are now being presented here, right? So we can go ahead and count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, 
so we have eight stars um, and you can of course go into the properties of the the duplicate and change the amount that you want to duplicate it by okay so now what would have happened if i changed um if i had used the rotate tool so let's actually delete this and just right click new layer transform and click on rotate right so you use the rotate when you want to create duplicates of duplicates of an object while rotating those objects right so for example i have the star here uh, and i want to create eight stars while you know rotating it you could just have them duplicate duplicate you could have the stars duplicated and be rotated around this star here so uh, let me just demonstrate so if i with my rotate layer selected we see that it has two properties and the property that we should be focused on is the amount so click on the amount right click on that and click convert and we want to convert that to a scale okay so with that now converted we want to open up its options here and with the scalar we want to link the scalar to this duplicate um, options in the library like we did with the translate tool so right click and click on connect all right and link right here uh, this basically tells us by how much we want the um, the star to rotate. So if we should type maybe 45 or something, we can see that the stars are, we can see the duplicates and we can see that they are now rotated by 45 degrees. And of course you can use the, um, the control points here to rotate them. Right, and see the different... Um, the different places that they rotate to the different points okay or you can change the values here so 20 all right so you can have fun with that uh so this is definitely different from you just copy um control c control v or copy and paste and stuff right uh so i hope you learned something in this video and i will see you in the next one Yo. Yo.